he's here to tantalise our taste buds. I mean, it all smells so good. What are we eating today? Uh, we're we're going to have spatchcock chicken. It's become the sort of trendiest way that I think chicken's been done for in the last, probably last three or four years. It's literally a whole chicken which has had its backbone taken out and opened up. Is right. that easy to do? Really, really simple to do, and it cooks in about 45 to 50 minutes. Yeah. So a little bit faster than a, a normal chicken. But to make sure it's nice and tender, I'm going to show you a few tricks. Because some, sometimes I see them now in the supermarket mm. already done yes. like that, you know, and I actually I grab them for a Sunday roast and stuff because it's, it, like you say, it cooks really in a little time. A yeah. lot less time. And people sort of think, oh, no, it's going to take, you know, an hour, an hour and a half. It doesn't go really, really dry. So the secret here, and this is what I'm going to do, if you're going to do it at home, take the chicken. You've got thighs, legs, and you've got your breasts. So what you're going to do is take a knife and actually make some quite deep slashes into the actual skin of the um, chicken itself so that what happens is... When we marinate this, it's going to go all the way through. I'm just going to get rid of that knife so I don't get okay. mistaken. Then what you do is just take a tray, um, put a, some onions on the bottom of it, and the reason you'd use onions on the bottom is so that the air circulates when you cook it. Because underneath here, you've got bone. So right. that bone there. So what you're going to do Ooh. now is put that on, on there and then you're going to cover the whole thing with loads and loads of garlic, salt and lemon juice. And if you're good, you leave that in the fridge overnight. You don't have to, but you do this. Now, what happens is the, the lemon juice and the salt tenderise the chicken. The garlic gives it lots and lots of flavour. But what that means is that when you actually cook it, it stays nice and moist, and the thighs and the legs cook really, really quickly, and it all sort of just it happens as it should do. Some good amount of salt on it. If you can, leave that in the fridge overnight, and that just starts to marinate. Remember, if you season a chicken... It's got skin on it. So the only bit of seasoning is going to be the skin itself, unless you make those slash marks in it, right. or you oh, put yes. stuff around the outside of it. So I've got one done already underneath here, which is all sorted and marinated overnight. Mm. I put a bit of oil on it, and then you've got this mixture now you've got like that. Lovely. Now it's time for packets and jars, because I believe in packets and jars. Make life easy. A big tub well, of yogurt. Not? Absolutely, why not? Why shouldn't you? Mm. And then a. Um, you take a, a jar of madras curry or korma curry or whatever you want to do. Like a, is that like a paste? Just a paste, mm -hmm. yeah, a jar of curry paste, whatever. And you could use Thai paste, you could use anything you like. I find the Indian paste are a bit looser, so it's all right. You mix that with the yoghurt. And it is yoghurt, ladies and gentlemen. It's not yoghurt, it's yoghurt. <laughs> Everybody going, yes, yoghurt. No, it's yo yoghurt, it's fine. <laughs> and then you take that and you smother it, like literally... It's so nice. ..all that over flavor, it. it? Mm all over it. Now, you could do this with chicken. You can do this with a leg of lamb, a shoulder of lamb. You could do it with um, some tofu if you wanted to. Do exactly okay. the same thing. And you can leave that in overnight if you want and then put all the rest around the outside or you can cook it as it is. Oh, so you're going quite generous with it. It's got to have a decent amount of crust on it because what happens is the, the yoghurt starts to melt down but all that seasoning goes in and as it starts to melt, Underneath it, all the stuff starts to come through the bottom. It starts to really sort of cook it together. And also, because you've left it for two nights, first, the first marinade and then yep. the second marinade, that flavour is really going to go through to the meat, isn't it? It is, yeah. But the other thing is, you don't have to do it quite so much if you don't want to. Right. You can sort of do it immediately. It also works really nice on a barbecue. And oh, it works yeah, in, in pieces. You don't have to do... I'm just going to get rid of this board. I've washed my hands because I have raw chicken. Um, and you don't have to use whole chicken. You can use chicken breasts, you can use chicken legs, you can use thighs, whatever you want. Just thighs in a tray done the same way. Mm. I'm going to make a really quick cucumber salad. Um, really, really quick cucumber salad. My favourite thing in the world. Cucumber, cucumber salad. salad. Oh, my goodness. My favourite. So what I think a lot of people do when they make salads is they use oil. And I think oil most of the time on salads doesn't work. If you oh, make really? a Yeah, if you make a tomato salad, just put vinegar on the top of the tomatoes, don't put oil. A little bit of salt will work just perfectly. That's, then you get the flavour of being on holiday. You think, how do they make that salad taste delicious? Because they don't use oil. Oh. Oil cl just clogs it up. So take better your. Better for you, I'd imagine, as well. Mm, probably right? a lot better. Cucumbers half peeled, some of the seeds taken out, a good sprinkle of salt. Rice vinegar or white vinegar, it doesn't matter what, just put it across the top of it and bathe them really nicely. And I say bathe them because I think sometimes with food you should sort of feel as though you're doing something romantic with them, you know? So if you bathe your <laughs> cucumbers, they sort of seem to taste better. Load of spring onions. <laughs> You laugh, but I think I treat, I try and treat them. It was just, it was just how like the, the little, yes, well, I'm trying to like the boys. You know what I mean? I, said, <laughs> I don't do abs either, by the way. Um, <laughs> not that you could tell. Get him some trunks. That's it. Yeah, thanks. No, thank you. <laughs> um, uh, some green, chopped green chilies, some red chili flakes, 
and some sesame seeds. And that is all you need to do. That's it. So it and you might sound weird. Know there's no oil on it. So simple. It's so, but it's so tasty. No oil, and honestly, you, the more you do, the fine you, you, you do salads without oil. It, it, they are so much better. Um, and I just do a, a nice iceberg lettuce salad. I cut an iceberg into quarters. Um, a little bit of vinegar across the top and grated parmesan cheese and nothing Is else. the vinegar Ooh. not overpowering, though, John? No, because your cucumbers don't get a full of water. Right. Any sauce you ever use or anything like that you want to use, you want to make sure they're really strong. Um, really strong, because you're putting it with something which is usually fairly bland, such as a cucumber. Yeah. So now we've got that. i made a really quick flatbread. All the recipes are online. The flatbreads are flour and yoghurt equal quantities, a little bit of water and a touch of baking powder, nothing else. Oh, wow. There's a green chutney there, which you've got on the side. Delicious. Mm. Which is really good. That's fine. And so now we're going to take this lovely chicken out of the oven. I'm just going to take this because what you do as you roast it, and you roast it for about 50 minutes at 180 degrees, the crust from the yoghurt just makes it this sort of wonderful, beautiful, nice, dark, lovely thing. Oh, wow, look at that. And so it's all sizzling and gorgeous. You take that, and then... I know that the Love Island boys have been asking about chicken. Well, I don't know if they'll eat the skin or not, because I suppose they're not allowed to, are they? <laughs> that, with shapes like that. Take that across the top, and then all you do is... What I do is I just take it, and it literally falls apart. Oh, look oh, You take that, the legs man. off, you take the thing off like that, or we'll take the... The onions that are in the bottom of the tray. Oh, give me a bit of that. Which are really good. Do, do you want an onion? Yeah, I do. Okay, I'll pass John, that it looks amazing. Straight out the like oven. Oh, do you want a bit of onion? And it, looks, yeah, then, it looks so succulent. And then you just take your breasts off, cucumber salad, a nice little pile of flatbreads, and you've got yourself a nice little lunch. There we go. Simple as that. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Sorry. Was the onion hot? Mm. Oh, hot. Oh, no. It's really hot. Thanks, John, all the details <laughs> of today's recipes. Delicious ideas from her this morning. Oh. Chefs, head to the uh, free this morning. Lovely, now. But so yeah, hot. it was hot, that.